want to welcome everybody back to Green Country Baits. This is a paint session pre-Rapala wiggle wart. We got the wart symbol, the originality of the wart symbol taped off. We got a cool pattern here. I'm thinking we're going to call it the hot enchilada, but it's going to be a crawl pattern. Super special pattern. Springtime, wintertime reds with this combination, smallmouth. For you guys out there, for my guy in Kentucky, Cumberland Lake, please send me some details about how this one does on Cumberland Lake. Okay? Anybody out there in Cumberland Lake, try this pattern. You got the small mouth, try it out. Enchilada crawl. If that sounds interesting, come join me. Okay, folks, we've got our original pre rapala wiggle wart really baits in really good shape i don't know if this thing's ever been thrown so my guy in kentucky man that's a nice bait got the rattle anyway um kind of gave me the freedom here to do some things for him uh lake cumberland smallmouth i'm thinking spring a little bit of dirty water uh got three baits that we've done for him and uh I don't know. We're going to call this enchilada, hot enchilada crawl, something like that. You guys, you guys comment below what you think. Uh, anyway, what's going to happen on this bait is we're going to first start with a yellow base. And I'm going to mute that yellow just a little bit. And I don't want it like, so basically we've got you know, transparent yellow mixed with a little bit of white, okay? So it's not a bone, it's not a, I don't know. We'll call it Strine's Custom Yellow, man, I don't know. It, it's, it's pretty yellow, but like I said, we've got some white, thin base coat going down. Want to heat set that first one. This gives your baits some layers. All baits are going to go through some hook rash. The clear coat I use, I believe, truly believe, helps with that. But do a thin base coat, heat set it. In this particular case, I don't always do that with some patterns, but if I'm not using my zombie stencils. It's going to get a heat set. And really, this is just a little too much yellow for me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I didn't have much paint left in there anyway. I'm going to add a couple more drops of white to that yellow. And just want to a little bit of an off-white color. And the top and the bottom really doesn't matter. Uh, but those sides, yeah, that's, see that? It's hard to tell probably, but that's what I want in the sides. More white than yellow. We'll go ahead and extend that down into the sides of that belly. Uh, and the bill 
Not sure if the camera's picking that up. It's extremely difficult, but to the naked eye, man, that's that's the that's the yellow I want. So don't really have a ratio for you. It's a transparent white, and it's just a look thing. So, you know, that's what custom painting is a lot of times. Uh, it's just preferences, okay? And and for this, I mean, we all know smallmouth like. Yellow chartreuses, uh, vibrant colors, uh, and this one has all that and much, much more. Going to do some unique things with uh, crawl plates. Customer, yeah, that compressor's running. This particular customer gives me quite a bit of leeway on what we wanted. He said, just use, you know, you know what you want. I just want to catch some smallmouth. I'm not a big crankbait guy, but. Uh, Early spring, you know, wiggle warts, you know, that's cold water. I don't know. I think this pattern will be extremely, extremely good for him. Okay, so I'm just loading up a little bit more paint here. And we're going to show you what we're going to do next. So the back of this bait. And we're going to do a little bit darker. Now I want that to fall down the sides a little bit, so I'm going to angle it. Now, I don't want it near as, as dark as the top. And I like the fuzzy edge because this is going to be a splatter bait. <coughs> going to have some splatter in it. Darken up that back just a little bit with this pearl red. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let me heat set that so I don't touch something. We're going to go ahead and flip this bait over and hit the belly real quick. Careful with that and wet paint. Alright, so this is, uh, we want to call this orange, but this is a orangish red um, color. And with this tape, that's going to leave whatever the body color is. And I'll show you how I deal with that later. But we're going to come through and put this orange right down that belly. And this is a uh, vermilion. So it's a very reddish orange. That that tape is, is going to be a little bit of an issue. Uh, and we can, we can remove that now for the time being. And ever so lightly, I'm going to turn the pressure way down. I don't want to cover up that word, but I want, I also don't want See how those transparent baits are? Just light pressure. We're running about 15. And that's what we want. So we got a pearl red, and we got a vermilion orange underneath. We left our sides intact. And so 
Now I've been deciding here what kind of Carl Patterson to give me the uh, the leeway. Okay, so the pattern we're going to use on this is on our wiggle wart. Just want to be careful that you don't scratch them. Sometimes they uh, don't fit these pre Rapalas extremely well. So I'm just going to put one up here at the top. A little clip on there just to hold it in place. And one down here on the bottom. And I can hold this one on the back. So what's different is normally you would do black, okay? This particular pattern, I'm gonna use a really dark um, green pumpkin pattern, I guess you would call it. Uh, You want to be real careful with going too, it's hard to see inside there, so just do it light. It's easy to go back over the second time if you need it. Do a heat set from the far. Basically, I was at arm's length with that heat gun I got. Now, let's see if we scratched anything. This thing has a kind of a tight fit. Boom. Got a little bit there I need to clean up. That'll be real easy to fix. Like I said, uh, you got to really watch for that. With four airbrushes. This isn't a problem. Make sure you got nothing else. This uh, stencil, these things do just an awesome job. If you're a beginner and you got a little bit of extra money, invest in these 3D printed stencils. Uh, lots of companies out there. I believe I've got links down in the description below. I got a little bit of spidering on the end of that. Uh, that uh, not real happy about again that's what i was talking about don't go too heavy um now we're going to use that same paint and we're going to splatter it we're going to start at about 12 and see how that looks closer you get to the bait, the more defined. I'm just aiming at the shoulder and letting some fall down the sides. Now, we're going to come back up over the top of that with our brown. Really should have done this first. Increase the pressure. 18, 20 pounds. And this doesn't have to be super dark. We just we want to show some of that. Some of that brown in there mixed with that red. Now 
Mm, really liking that. Really liking that. Okay. So now we need to hit our eyes. And let me see. We're going to switch out real quick our red color. I don't want the pearl red eyes. Uh, just want a plain crimson look type of, red, or of eye color. It's what I generally like. I think the fish are uh, attracted to it. Not that they probably wouldn't hit it if they had pearl red eyes, but I just, I want some, I want some differences in the red color. I want those eyes to really pop. You can see with that yellow uh, background uh, and how it's showing through and allowing that the red, allowing it to, to transfer through as well, that shoulders could have been a little bit darker, which we could always do, but I'm happy with it. I think it's a great looking pattern. So again, just a, a crimson red, just a real vibrant red that um, should make this pop. And again, like in most videos, we are going to go with The whole size of. Now, a lot of times I'll put down a. Uh, not sure what happened. Don't know what we missed. Hope we didn't miss anything. I, iPad. Uh, GoPro went down on me. But anyway, we've got the red eyes added in. Using the whole sizer in case we missed it. All we uh, really have left is to put a little black pupil on. Don't think you're going to see one out there just like this. This has uh, got your green pumpkins. It's got your yellows. It's got your your... Very shiny. This will really pop that red wheel when we get the clear coat on it. And then a very uh, reddish orange belly that should stand out in any of those stained waters uh, early spring. <clears throat> I think this is a good uh, clear water winter pattern. I really do. So anyway, guys, I uh, hope you liked the video. Truly unique pattern. Again, I'm thinking enchilada crawl. Don't know why. Maybe I'm just wanting enchiladas tonight. Anyway, if you liked the video, don't forget uh, hit the uh, hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you're new to the channel, these are the type of videos that we put out uh, each and every Saturday. Uh, whether it's a painting video, we've got a DIY playlist. If you're a beginner out there, don't forget to check out the complete tutorial that we got to get started in lure art airbrushing. Uh, I think it's a uh, uh, really well put together beginner's pattern that you don't have to search through all my videos. Find those playlists, access them. Guys, leave comments. Tell me what you think of this pattern and how it would apply to you. I want to definitely hear back uh, from my guy at uh, Lake Cumberland and see how the smallmouth like this up there uh, or over there, uh, just a little east of us here in Oklahoma. So, uh, until next week, guys, Green Country Baits signing out.